It's been 25 years since baseball was reinstated at CSU Pueblo. Chieftain Interim Sports Editor Jeff Latowski went to Rawlings Field to chat with Coach Stan Sanchez, who has been at the helm since the team was reinstated back in 1994. It's 25 years, Coach. Yeah. Uh, that's <laughs> difficult to comprehend, isn't it? Yeah, it is, especially when, you know, when I first got here, there wasn't much here, okay, to say the least. And, and as we <clears throat> look at this, we're in this area right here, and there was just nothing here. I mean, there was an old storage room there that you're looking at, and there wasn't any of the stadium that was put together. And, you know, obviously, we, <laughs> Dan DeRose pushed about making this place special, and, and he did. And obviously the support from Bob Rawlings and to get it going, um, but it was neat. The whole thing, the project of having a hundred volunteers on a, on a Saturday here, giving up their time from masonry work to uh, you know, multiple let, let, Saturdays multiple, and Sundays. Oh, and every sa Saturday, Sunday, you could see them all out here donating time, and everybody's working together, shoulder to shoulder. You know, so it was for the community to get involved and to make this happen was what Pueblo is, right? Yeah. I mean, it was, it was, there was nothing here. And, well, to, and to look out at it now and say, yeah. you know, what, what, just what, how far you guys have come. I mean, it's got, you got to be a proud, proud about that. Yeah, very proud. A lot of ownership, a lot of people that contributed, great team. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of people that had a lot to do with this. You know, I mean, when I first got here, Max Salas was raking the field when I walked in. And there was a little sand lot. Okay, it was a little mm -hmm. backstop back here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you ever saw it, Jeff, but the soccer team used to, you know, practice out in the outfield. No fence, just a little sand lot. And Max was the one that kind of groomed it, you know. And I just walked up to him and <laughs> I said, is this it? And he goes... Hey man, this is it. And there's been a lot of you, you, there's been a lot of improvements here, and obviously you have the, you know, all, all the names up. You know, on the, on oh, those, that's the neat part about you know, coming here at Ballpark. We we recognize all the All Americans, all the All Region kids, and the MVPs, and some of the professional baseball players, and obviously a couple of guys like Max and Dave, you know, that we recognize, and Dave Lang, and. It's just a, when you walk in this place, we, we bring a recruit in, and we usually walk them to the mound, and we say, "Take a look," and it kind of they kind of absorb everything. All our championships are on the line, and and so we, you know, we we want to we want to brag about this place, okay? But I can tell, and then we build our own clubhouse. Okay, mm -hmm. we'll get down there and take a look. But I can tell you right now, it's 25 years old. It's aging, and we go all over the country, and we see Angelo State as a, 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 the great place. You see us, CS is off the chart. Right. Metro is beautiful, right? You yeah. see it. Well, that's the next. That's yeah. the next step here. Our next step, and our our AD, uh, Dr. Polensky, is excited about enhancing this place. Okay, and hopefully someday we'll we'll have a a, a beautiful field with maybe all turf. And, upgrade our locker room and uh, we need a locker room and yeah. upgrade uh, uh, get a training room and hopefully someday get an indoor facility mm -hmm. so but we're he's pushing he's he's made us a priority which we're excited about it's almost like 25 years ago with a Dan DeRose sitting in that seat and saying okay let's go All right and it's kind of exciting mm -hmm.